Well, thank you all for being here today. Uh, we're pleased to announce a partnership between the Shreveport Mudbugs and East Texas Baptist University. East Texas Baptist University is announcing uh, our partnership as we start ice hockey at the collegiate level through ETBU. The Tigers will begin this fall uh, with a full team for the 2016-2017 season. We'll be a part of the American Collegiate Hockey Association. We're playing at the Division II level. And uh, we'll be partnering uh, with the Shreveport Mudbugs so that we'll be home on the ice at George's Pond, here on George's Pond in Hirsch Coliseum. And it's, uh, it's great. We are grateful for this partnership uh, with uh, uh, Muskie, with Scott Musket, as well as uh, Jason Soupy Campbell. Uh, Soupy is going to be our instructional skills coach. And uh, we'll be uh, recruiting players to come be a part of our program as we begin our hockey season this year. Uh, well, I guess I just talk a little bit about uh, our, our partnership. Uh, we are thrilled from a Mudbugs hockey perspective, from a George's Pond perspective, uh, and even just just having the ability to to partner up with ETBU, I think just puts a feather in our cap. We're, we're thrilled. This this actually is what George's Pond was was built to do. Uh, everybody that knew George knew that what George wanted to do was have every person who was interested in hockey uh, pursue that at the highest level possible. And we now have such a, a great grassroots here where we have youth hockey uh, all the way up to a, a junior hockey team that we're starting. And now we have a, another step all on the same platform with, with a collegiate opportunity right here for our kids to pursue. I, I'm thrilled about the opportunity and I'm I'm really, really happy that it's with ETBU. That puts a, a real feather in our cap, and, and thank you for uh, thank joining you. us. We're, we're thrilled to yeah. have you. Well, we want to, we wanna, again, want to express uh, our gratitude uh, to Muskie and to Soupy uh, for making us feel welcome. Uh, I grew up in uh, Minden, Louisiana, uh, just 30 miles uh, east of here, and so it's great to be back home in northwest Louisiana. I've uh, been the president here now at uh, East Texas Baptist for the last nine months. Uh, so we're back in the Piney Woods, and we're grateful that we get to, to start hockey. Our commitment is to have a Christ-centered program. We want uh, to, to build the lives of young men. We want their lives transformed, and we're going to use the sport of hockey to do that. And uh, these are two great Christian men, and we are, we are honored to partner with them and do what we can to shape the lives of, of young men as they seek the opportunity to play hockey uh, at, the, at the collegiate level and at the professional level. And uh, got a great coach here with the Shreveport Mudbugs. Know he's going to be building an outstanding team as well as an outstanding collegiate team as we participate uh, in ACHA uh, uh, hockey at the Division II level. That means that we're going to be bringing teams in to play here from Texas. Uh, that would include uh, scheduling opportunities for us with teams like Dallas Baptist, Texas, the University of Texas, SMU, Baylor, Texas Tech. We'll also be inviting uh, teams like LSU at the Division III level in Arkansas. Uh, and we're hopeful that uh, we'll bring uh, more fans here that enjoy already Shreveport Mudbugs hockey, uh, that they'll be enjoying uh, East Texas Baptist Tigers hockey at the collegiate level. Supi? Well, you guys have pretty much uh, touched it all, but uh, you know it's exciting for me to have a have a new team roll in here. Um, but with it being a new team, nothing really nothing really changes. You know, we just want to lead these these young men, uh, develop their hockey skills, but also just develop them as young young men and uh, great contributors to to the community. And uh, that's what we've always been about here. Um, we yes, we love the game of hockey. Like love it to death, but it's more about just uh, growing young athletes and great young men and ladies um, for for some of our other programs. So just super excited about this opportunity. And uh, from the day we met, there, it seemed like there was an instant connection. And um, actually, us meeting happened in several different ways, and it just really does seem like it's meant to be. And and I'm I'm ready to get rolling. I'm glad uh, Supi made that uh, comment about uh, there were several different ways that we did meet, uh, different people that we knew uh, that uh, were connected and kept directing us back to one another. And so uh, it was definitely a, a divine intervention uh, for me, a spiritual journey uh, that God directed us together. And uh, these guys have such hearts for, for developing young, young men and women. And uh, I know that the, that's our, our call at ETBU is to see lives changed. So these young people that are coming uh, to play will be able to, 
to earn a quality education, a Chrysler education, but even those that are Shreveport mud bugs that are not ready uh, to, to move into to collegiate level play or to move across to collegiate level play will have the opportunity to, to work on their bachelor's degree through uh, ETBU. And we'll be providing scholarship support to Shreveport uh, mud bugs uh, that uh, would like to be a part of our campus community while they also play here with the Shreveport mud bugs. We're offering scholarships for our players. Uh, this is club level hockey, not NCAA hockey. So we're at the ACHA uh, club level two. And so we'll be providing scholarships uh, available to student athletes uh, that are part of our team at $5,000 per year. We also have scholarships for Christian leadership and academic scholarships as well as ministry scholarships. So uh, we are gonna do all that we can uh, to make a Christ-centered education at ETB affordable while we provide uh, young men the opportunity to play uh, here in an absolutely incredible venue on George's Pond. It, it, I'm just amazed at what uh, Muskie's doing, uh, as well as uh, Tommy Scott, the uh, president and owner of uh, the Shreveport Mudbugs, and how they're developing, uh, enhancing. Uh, this, the, the, uh, the remodel is amazing what's happening at Hirsch Coliseum, and uh, we're happy to be a part of that, where we can call this Hirsch Coliseum and George's Pond home, where we practice as well as play. And uh, we look forward to we look forward to the opportunity to be here on a daily basis and uh, and seeing these uh, being a part with these men. Our season uh, runs uh, at the club level uh, from October through March, so we'll be uh, scheduling home games as well as away games. Uh, so uh, and and Supi will be a part of that as well as uh, Muskie as we schedule uh, around the Shreveport Mud Bug schedule. Well, I, I've, as I shared, I've been at uh, ETBU as president for the last uh, nine months. Previous to that, I was executive vice president at Dallas Baptist University uh, for the last uh, 13 years of, of a 20-year tenure. And so we started uh, Division II ACHA uh, hockey. Uh, Dallas Baptist one of the top programs at, at the Club Two level. And so we were able to do that successfully uh, through Dallas Baptist. And so we're bringing that same vision uh, with, uh, with ETBU. Uh, in our leadership there in Marshall. It's also for us uh, the opportunity to, you know, I ICE is limited in Louisiana, and so we're grateful the, that the ownership group uh, under uh, Muskie's uh, leadership has developed this, uh, this opportunity for, for young kids to get, get the opportunity to play hockey, and develop their skills. So who knows, these kids that are on the ice today that are six, seven years old, that are training and learning, may one day be in the NHL. That's their hope, that's their dream, and it starts right here uh, with what's happening at, on George's Pond. Uh, but we, uh, we want to be a part of that and providing educational support uh, to these uh, collegiate players and mug, mud bug players in the future. Well, I think it helps us on a bunch of levels, and, and even, you know, Supi just said it, and I'm not trying to be corny, but when, when you really look at it, it's so much more than hockey. Like, we're, we're really talking about, you know, changing lives, which is the best part about North American Hockey League is just another step for, for our young players to, to take. So I started out as a seven-year-old, and I developed these skills, and I, and I learned that there's more to hockey than just playing. I, I have to come with a certain character, and I have to develop that character and build that character. And if I do that, then I might be fortunate enough to play junior hockey, which is, which is right here too. And if I work on that, and I get good at that, and I really develop that character, then, then you know what, maybe I'll be able to play for ETBU. So having that all right here just really lets the kids have their future in front of them. And, and that's, that's a thrill for me, and I know it's gonna be the, the one of these kids in the upcoming future is is going to be from mud bugs to from a from a youth mud bug to a mud bug that plays junior hockey to an ETBU tiger and that's a pretty cool thing. Sure. Um, well, y you can't see it right now, but the ice is melting almost melted and uh, we look forward to, to doing some tests on the floor that's there um, moving forward we have a plan a and a plan b whether we bury the current uh, ice mat 
or build a new build a new system is is what will develop from the testing. Uh, from there, we'll go ahead and change out the 1,500 seats that we're changing out. Our season tickets are flying off the shelf, which is really good news. We've got a bunch of corporate partners that are joining us. And as all of this stuff happens, we continue to go from the east side to the west side of the building, painting, putting up new walls, new doors, and. Uh, and hopefully this will be something that's worthy of, of that every ETBU Tiger that comes in here says, man, look at this place, this is unreal. Every Mudbug fan says the same thing, and every kid who wants to, to be a North American Hockey League player says the same thing. So it's all in progress, but, but we're very, very positive that, that what we're doing is going to be done suitable and respectable for, for all parties involved. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to have to be done by that last week of August. Um, we plan on having seat selection parties in the middle of August to the latter part of August so that everybody can get their season ticket booked so that we're ready to go for September. And, and that will give us a month of, of getting this ball rolling so that we're finely tuned and polished for, for ETBU to come in for their season in October. Uh, it's a great opportunity. I mean, these kids are going to be coming in. They're going to want to be here, and they're going to want to play hard. So what, what more can a coach ask? You know, these kids, are that's, that's, what they, that's what they want to do, and that's what they choose to do with their lives at that point in time, play hockey and go to school. So it's, it's the perfect spot for me, you know. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because – because I'm going to be where I want to be too. It's a choice I'm making, and that's where I want to be, and I'm going to want to do it to the best of my ability. And uh, there's no turning back. You know, they're going to be ready. I'm going to be ready, and the rest of the coaching staff is going to be ready. Um, there's just a lot of excitement around here, and and like I said earlier, ready to go and and meet these kids, and can't wait for the ice to get in. We might have to hit some dry land or something like that in the meantime. I don't know. I will say about these guys uh, in our short uh, relationship development, I've seen that they're they're men of excellence. Uh, they are putting together uh, putting together an excellent program, and their their desire is is to have such quality uh, with not only the team but with the facilities, and and that matches what we desire to do with our students as a as a center for excellence. So it's it is a pleasure to partner with them not only on the ice but also we're going to be a corporate sponsor uh, so we'll be providing uh, opportunity for advertising for east texas baptist university uh, we, we believe in what they're doing and uh, we want to be able to share that with uh, folks in east texas and and we're our desire is to draw east texas families to come over and be a part of the shreveport mud bugs as season ticket holders uh, and also to use the facilities uh, for instruction uh, in, in hockey as well as figure skating and the other recreational activities that they have. They've got a great community program here uh, for, for the community to come be a part of and uh, there'll be folks uh, definitely coming across the, the state line to be a part uh, of what's happening here at, at, on George's Pond. I also want to, if I could say another thing, uh, I'd, I'd like to thank Kelly Wells with the Shreveport Sports Authority. Uh, Kelly was also a, a, a main person that was able to connect me uh, to, to Muskie and to Soupy. And uh, I just appreciate what they do for the city of Shreveport in bringing in quality athletic events. And uh, we know that uh, there's an opportunity there for us to, to partner with the Shreveport Sports Authority to, to bring in uh, quality teams uh, to be a part not only uh, with hockey, but hopefully also uh, you, never, you might even see East Texas Baptist Tiger football next door at Independence Stadium one day. We'd like to see that uh, for a promotional game. Uh, but, but we do have the likes of Division II teams, and, and as I said, Texas A&M, Texas State, the University of Texas, UTEP, SMU, TCU, Dallas Baptist, UT Arlington. These are the kind of teams that are going to be coming over and bringing their fans uh, here into Shreveport. Uh, so we see the opportunity for, for partnership not only with the Mudbugs, but with the Shreveport Sports Authority, with the city of Shreveport uh, for economic development. We all want to see greater things happening in Shreveport. Uh, I love my home state. I'm glad to be back here uh, in northwest Louisiana and look forward to, uh, to engaging in, in, in greater relationships uh, here in northwest Louisiana.